There are 8 surprisingly simple tips and tricks that will help you clean much less often in the future. They are really worth their weight in gold and you will use them for the rest of your life. There are also a few real insider tips. Let's go straight to trick number 1. If you've burned something while cooking, whether in a pan or a pot, there's an ingenious trick that will save you having to scrub it out. Put enough water in your pan or pot so that all the burned spots are submerged. Now add half a dishwashing tap, because this is already enough. Bring the whole thing to the boil and as you can see all the dirt dissolves by itself. All the burnt spots are so well dissolved that you just have to tip it out and the remaining stains that are still in it can be wiped off very easily. And the pan or pot is completely clean again. If you don't like scrubbing in general you also love this trick because it's about the microwave. After a while it also gets very dirty. But cleaning it out is really a very annoying task. But it's much easier. All you need is a mug filled halfway with water. Now add a good dash of vinegar and then you need half a lemon. Squeeze the juice of the lemon into this mixture. You can also put the lemon itself into the cup. Now put the whole thing in your microwave, switch it on at the highest setting, which is for me 800 watts. Then let it run for 5 minutes. The mixture ensures that even stop on encrustations are dissolved here. Afterwards you just have to carefully remove the cup and wipe it again with the damp cloth and the microwave is completely clean again. I have some really surprising secret tricks for you in a moment, but first we come to a place that you don't actually see directly, namely the drain. This should also be cleaned from time to time as deposits and dirt can build up here and cause the drain to clog over time. And all you need for this is a dishwashing tap. Place it in your drain and heat water to 80 degrees celsius with a kettle. Now go to your sink and carefully pour this water over the dishwashing tap. The heat should cause it to dissolve and as it has a very strong cleaning power it will now ensure that the entire drain is really nice and clear again and that dirt is completely dissolved here. For a lasting good result repeat this process every 6 to 8 weeks. Now comes a really ingenious trick that ensures that you have to wipe significantly less dust no matter whether it is on squirting boards, cupboards or other places. Because dust always accumulates here over time. But you only need one ingredient to make sure you don't have to dust as often. First wipe down all the surfaces, because what you need is fabric softener. Take a microfiber cloth like this, put a very small amount of fabric softener on it and wipe your squirting boards with it. By doing this you ensure that a thin layer is applied here, which you can't see and shouldn't feel yourself when you wipe over it. However, dust can no longer settle and will simply fall to the floor and be removed by the vacuum cleaner for example. The whole thing also works on surfaces such as cupboards. If you don't want to use fabric softener it works just as well with hair conditioner. Another thing that no one likes to clean is the sink. Especially if it's made of stainless steel. Because you often see water stains and all kinds of dirt in there. But I have a trick for you to do this much less often in the future. First of all you have to wipe the sink thoroughly so that it is completely clean. Now you need olive oil and a paper towel. Put a very small amount of olive oil on the paper towel and rub it all over this sink. You may need to add a little more olive oil in between. In the end there should be a very thin layer of olive oil all over the sink and that you can't see or feel with your finger. But after that your whole thing is really shiny again and the advantage is that you have sealed it with it. This means that dirt no longer sticks to it so easily and the water simply runs off. Before we get straight to a real insider tip I have a quick tip for you. You should simply keep your rubbish bags in your rubbish bin. If you just put the roll in the bin, put the first bag over it, fill it up and pull it out at some point, you pull it up here and have the next bin bag on the bottom. That means you have to tear it off at the perforated spot and can put the next bin liner over it again. That way you always have it in place and save a lot of time. And the last trick is really ingenious, but you have to come up with it first. A lot of dirt and grease from cooking usually collects on the kitchen cupboards. It's not easy to get it clean again. Instead you can simply lay out baking paper or for example an old newspaper on the kitchen. Maybe tape it down a bit so that it doesn't fly right off. That way you only have to change the baking paper or newspaper every few months and the cupboards always stays nice and clean. Would you also like to know why you should mix salt and dishwasher detergent? Then take a look at the video I'm linking to you here.